Yo, what is going on everyone? It's Professor Pierce here, PP for short. Today I have a Chi Yu deck for you guys. I briefly used this in my last video when I was explaining and making decks from scratch, but now uh, I'm here to, to use it and play it in a couple, couple different matches for you guys. Uh, so we'll just go over the, the list real quick. Um, we got uh, arm roads and B barrel for support, and then our heavy hitter is Heatran and Entei, and then we have our other supports, uh, but like bigger, bigger supports is Delphox and Chi Yu. Um, and we'll go ahead and get into it real quick now. Um, this first video, mind you, I uh, I had to cut off. I didn't get the first part of it exactly because I didn't know. If it was going to be a good match or not, but uh, after my first turn, I was like, "Okay, you know, let me uh, let me let me start recording here." So a little bit uh, a little bit different. I uh, I know. So obviously, I I had a lot of Pokemon down, and then I set up the Chi Yu with one, and then we have our research in our hand, and our opponent here is using a lot of Ultra Balls. Um, currently and he hasn't even used tandem unit yet so that is kind of a surprise that he would go ahead and throw away all of those ultra balls but like I was saying there's a lot of uh, this takes a lot of support since Chiyu isn't really that strong it is mainly just a, uh, a support mon so it's kind of like this is just a toolbox a fire toolbox deck which is really cool either way um, do what we can do what we can with it with what we're given and I really like Chi Yu he's definitely my favorite out of the four uh, what it, what is it called um, what are they called uh, like not like this because they're not sword Pokemon but um, they have like swords like they had the swords in the ground you know if I if I think about what it's called, I'll I'll say something. But we'll go ahead and research, and we got a lot of good stuff here. Um, so we did get Basin, and uh, we don't have anything in the discard pile, but it's good to just have that up. And we're gonna set up Chi Yu here, and he is gonna do some damage for us. And after that, he is going to help us set up so we get to place three things on three different pokemon so that is really really nice because all you got to do is attack one more time and then you basically have three separate pokemon set up it's pretty crazy so he has arceus here it seems like he is starting to starting to set up a little bit himself and while we wait to do that, I'll explain a little bit more about how this works. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to set up with Chi Yu, uh, ideally, and get everyone put uh, put all your energy on your bench Pokemon. And if you can't do that, then you can set up with the Magma Basin and put it on your Armor Roach or your Heatran. Ideally, you want it on the Heatran because Heatran does more damage with how much damage is on him. Uh, so you want to put the Magma Basin on the field and attach it to your bench. And then with Armor Roach, you can uh, fire off your uh, energy to the active Pokemon. If that makes enough sense. Yes, I'm pretty sure it does. All right, so it's back to our turn here. We did get um, another stadium, which is good. I think we're just gonna Iono here. Um, I mean, I don't really wanna get rid of some of those cards. I know we're giving him a bigger hand, so that was probably a misplay on our part, but not the end of the world. Because we did get our uh, to get our armor roads here and we did get a couple of other good things because we will be able to be barrel here 
And we also did get him another magma basin just in case something dies. And we'll be able to attach some more energy, the rest of our energy here, to our two other V Pokemon. So now we have three Pokemon set up. And we have a Heatran that is ready for Magma Basins to be attached to him. So let's see what uh, let's see what our opponent has got here. Uh, let's let me let me let me take a crack at this name. Um, I don't know if it's an L or an I. I'm assuming that's supposed to be an I. So I'm gonna say like E N X O. I, I'm guessing, I, I mean, it could be worse, uh, it could be better, but um, I, I feel like, yeah, e ENXO. So he's just going to go ahead and pass to us and set up his Arceus and give us this kill, which is, which is nice. Um, so we are just going to go ahead and take that kill and just waste this other form of powering up because all of our stuff is already on the field here. It does seem like he can revenge kill us with the Arceus, but I'll take the I'll take the prize trade to be honest because I'm already already up. Wish we could have found uh, one of our charms so we wouldn't die. To it, but we did not find it. And he's gonna put down another Arceus, and he probably doesn't have much going on here. He'll probably just attack us. But uh, yeah, he is just gonna go ahead and attack us, so we can't really do anything here. Um, Excuse me. You ever just get like one of those huge yawns? Holy crap. Um, but yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and attack us. Um, because we will, we won't be able to kill him this turn. But what we can do is we can take two prize cards for sure. Okay, there's the charm we were looking for. So now he won't be able to or definitely won't be able to one-shot us now. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and Basin 2. Um, it's like, I'm just kidding. No, I thought I Basin, but I didn't. Um, I wanted that path up. Uh, kind of, I mean, the path's kind of irrelevant at this point, so I definitely should have Basined, and then Basin this back to the Heatran. But, you live and you learn. Because he's going to go ahead and evolve again, and then it doesn't really matter. I can kill him with Heatran next turn, or I can kill him with Entei next turn. So he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Plus, uh, my hand is very big, so to him I definitely could have a boss. So even if he switches out, it'll be difficult. But... He's just going to chorus, too, so I guess he's just looking for something. Um, probably get switch. Or something along those lines, I'm not sure. Uh, he's he's going to discard and switch and just manually, and then he's going to kill us with Raichu, so... That's fair. Uh, the only thing is... I have enough on Entei to kill him uh, to one shot because he has enough bench Pokemon for me to just kill him already and he's gonna make it worse for himself here because he's gonna put another Pokemon down just making sure that my Entei does even more damage. Not sure why he did that, definitely a little bit of a misplay. But he is going to Dynamic Spark for 300. And kill me here. But that charm was good. It gave me, uh, gave me some extra bulk for a little bit of when I needed it. 
So we will bench the fish and we will go ahead and kill this thing. Just and bench the fish just in case. Do some more do some more damage and there we go. Um, just like that. Um, we'll beat this guy's uh, Arceus Electric deck it seems like. So Chiyu definitely was helping us out there. Uh, powering up and doing a bit of chip damage to start. Uh, it really powered up our bench so we didn't have to do anything pretty much like the second half of the game. But here we go, we're going to get on to the next battle here. We're facing... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Like, I'm not even, go I'm not even gonna try to, to be honest. Sometimes I do have the kindness of my heart to to try to pronounce stuff, but that is, that's a, that's a hard no. Um, all right, we're facing another electric deck, it seems like here. And we're starting out with we old be doof here. Not the best hand in the world, um, definitely not the worst. I mean, I can ultra ball for basin, but that's about it. I need another supporter card or, um, you know, I'd ultra ball for the B barrel, I guess. Um, all right, target, it's not bad. Um, we'll go ahead and place these guys down and get the B barrel and just hope that he doesn't Iono me here. And we'll go ahead and start to power up our Heatran here. And pass the turn. So not, not bad, not bad. And let's see, he's this guy's running definitely looks like more of a standard electric build with Maridon. Um, rather than using Arceus to power stuff up. He's got a lot of mons here. Ooh, he's, he's even running the baby Maridon here. And Zulu's got a, it's got a generator. Does it hit? Yes, it do hit. Only for one, though, so that's not bad. And is that a research? That is not a research. So we are living this turn. And he's going to switch into the Raichu here. And we'll go ahead and evolve into B Barrel. So he doesn't die as well. Um, Alright, and we're going to have to get rid of the boss here, unfortunately. I don't like doing that, but I need a V Pokemon and this Forest Seal Stone so I can get a better supporter here. Um, and I think... Am I going to... I'm trying to think if I'm going to use this Switch first. Um, I might as well, because I... I only have the one switch and the one escape rope. We will get that high five as well. Um, we'll draw another base and that doesn't really help us. So no attack this turn because we didn't get another ultra ball to, to move our energy. But it's not the end of the world. Next turn we definitely have it with Arvin. But it seems like he is currently breaking right now, so we don't have too much to worry about. And he's not even going to attack, attack. He's just going to charge here. Which is fine by me, because I think we have a knockout this turn. So we'll go ahead and Arvin. I think I'm just going to grab... here instead of grabbing the um, armor roach since it doesn't doesn't really matter at this point I can always grab him later uh, okay there's that whatever just get rid of rid of this and 
do that because we want another Pokemon down as well because without that Chiyu, we would not have been able to KO this guy. So I wouldn't even be surprised if he just scooped right here because of how much farther ahead we are than him and his dog shit hand. But alright, he's got a nest ball, he's nesting. Does he have... Um... Okay, is Squawkabilly. Genius. Squawkabilly turn three? You've heard it here first, guys? Squawkabilly turn three. The more you know. Uh, I don't think he knew about that card, or what that card's ability did, if I had to guess. So... I'm gonna go ahead and use Serena here, and apparently just grab some more energy. Um, I'm gonna Magma Basin again to Heatran. So now he is pretty much set up. He just needs another energy on him. Uh, and then we will just attack and kill the baby one. Bam! And I hope that he doesn't top deck anything. I mean, we're in a pretty good position here. We've taken half our prize cards. So... What does he draw? Not research, it seems like. Another nest ball. That is quite unfortunate. It's a Raikou this time, which would be a little... There's a little more help than the Squawk ability, <laughs> if I would say so. Uh, but it's a little late because he can't swap out or anything. He should have put the Regilecki up because he at least could have attacked. But he is, uh, he is, he is learning. I'm gonna learn one way or another. So we'll just take that and then we'll have boss for game here this turn if he can't do anything. Uh, and I, and I'll tell you, he does just continue to brick here. But the reason that I left this one in, uh, is because of how much damage I do with the Heatran. I think it's really funny. Because Heatran is... Because everyone, like, literally everyone uses Charizard instead of Heatran just because Charizard is better. But in a deck like this with just Magma Basin, you can definitely use Heatran over Charizard. Uh, and I think it really goes to show, like, how well it is because um, with the... Just with the three Magma Basins on here, if you get three of them, if, even if you only get two of them up, it's still, like, really impressive damage for two. But three of them is just absolutely stupid. I mean, 60 damage for <laughs> 420 damage? Like, that's so absurd. Like, imagine getting hit by a Heatran for 420 damage. I had friggin' 420 plays it. That's... that's it's so silly to me. Alright, anyway, I just left that one in there for, uh, more so the Heatran. But, um, alright, we're gonna move on to third right here. This one I can kind of pronounce a little better, I want to say. Um, Yuki... Uver? I'm guessing. Yuki Uver, uh, 0528 classic username right there um <laughs> and oh wow this is a lot of pokeballs here uh that's fine we will t we will take it could be could be worse hand because we can get b barrel so we'll go ahead and put that down and use our use our balls here the nest ball and nest ball see what's see what's cooking in there and then we'll attach this and we will fleet footed first because I almost forgot about that and we will pass let 
Let's see. Oh, are we facing Garnivore here? No, we are facing Lost Box here. Usually you don't see too many Lost Boxes running Fog Crystal anymore. That's for sure, because most of the time they're running just, you know, like no support to find Pokemon. They're just running, like, simply... Um... Pokeball... Po Poke Gears and stuff like that over it. So let's see who's gotten here. He's, he's gonna path us, which is completely fine with me. I mean, I'm drawing out one extra card. It's not gonna bother me one bit. Because um, I'm about to get rid of some stuff anyway for a bee barrel. And then we will bee barrel and that's that's not bad. Um, I don't really want to bench this Delphox because they already have the Manaphy down. So now we can Fleet Footed though. Um, so that's mm, that's whatever. We'll just get rid of this and get rid of this Fire Energy as well, so we can attack this turn, and how are we going to do that, you ask? We're going to get rid of it, and we're going to Armor Rogue, and then we are going to Magma Basin to the Armor Rogue, and then from there, we'll fire off that and be able to attack this turn. So Boom Shakalaka is what all the cool kids say, I assume. Yeah, that's definitely what the cool kids say. There's no shot. No shot! They don't say that. Yeah, I mean, I'm young and hip, so I, I know all the cool epic lingo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to start his turn off here with the classic um, flower selecting, obviously. And he's got another peak here. Which is kind of annoying, to be honest, but... Doesn't really matter, we did get a bit of use out of our Magma Basin already. And so he doesn't seem like he has much here because he doesn't he doesn't have the chorus and he had to use his turn on a Clara. And he can't even switch out. So this is looking good for us. So we're gonna go ahead and research because I don't want to Iono him here. Uh, we are going to grab Another Pokemans here. Put him on the bench. Um, I kind of don't want to do this, but at the same time, I rather um, I rather Path be out of play. And we did get another our other Charm here, so that's good. Um, whatever, we'll just grab this just in case too. And fleet footed, and then probably just attack here. So it's in my. I think it's just this one energy, yeah. So I'm definitely not gonna mess with that. We will take two prize cards. Or, I will take one prize card, but then we'll have taken two prize cards, obviously. Duh. I mean, what? Yeah, you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Alright, so he's gonna send out Comfe again. And he has, ooh, he's got a belt here. Interesting. Um, so he's going to draw some extra cards here. He's, now he has four in the Lost Zone, so he can attack with Cram. He's going to boss, what is he going to boss here? My Armor Rogue and kill it? No, he's going to cross my B Barrel, which is pretty annoying, to be honest. But it's okay, we have Iono in hand. So it's not the end of the world. So he's gonna go ahead and kill that with the band, which was an important draw for him. And plus, since we had Beach Court in play, he could swap out freely. So kind of our fault there, but we're still up, and we're still gonna have to. We'll still be able to take another prize card here in a minute. Um, I wish I had Magma Basin. That's what I'm trying to look for this whole time. But I can't 
freaking find it. Um, so I'm probably just gonna Iono here. Um, I don't really want to give him a bigger card hand either. So I guess we'll just Arvin. Um, we don't really need anything, but we'll just uh, use the supporter for this turn, thin out the deck a little bit. Um, but I'm just gonna say F it, we ball, and grab. Go ahead and grab one of them. Is what well, might as well do that. Start getting this Heatran up right now. All right, and then we'll go ahead and burning Rondo here. Bam. All right, so now we are halfway through. This guy can send out his comfy again and will and continue to get stuff together here. Let's see what he's got. Um, okay, so Poke Gear. And oh, he's just immediately getting Chorus. So obviously, he's going to play that. So that should have him at 7 in the Lost Zone now. So he should be able to grab something and kill me this turn, or it's just another cram. And he's also going to grab a Comfy out of his prizes here. Let's see what he got. Does he have the Mirage Gate for anything? And if he does have the Mirage Gate, does he have a Pokemon for it? That answers one question. Not exactly the order I thought he would do this in. I also didn't think he would do that. Um, but he has a Switch card too, so... So he's going to go ahead and spit us here, which is perfectly fine. Um... Alright, so now we still didn't draw another energy, so we don't have a way to discard it. Our hand is pretty clogged up right now. Um, I just kind of want to get rid of some stuff. Um, the bee barrel, that most certainly doesn't matter. Um, we do have our switch, but the problem is our Chiyu only does 100 damage. So we kind of can't, kind of can't switch into that. So we have to attack with, and how do, how do we draw that? That's so bizarre. I just threw that back in there. Um, okay, so we do get an energy, so that's good. That's what we are looking for. Let's see what he's got. Alright, does he have another... Does he have a Dragonite? Is he running Kyogre? What is what is he running? Because he hasn't turboed that hard yet. I mean, I, I have a lot less cards in my deck than he does currently. He's running Echoing Horn. It's a good card. Oh, okay, so he's running... Running Charizard here, that makes sense. Alright, so we are going to... Woof. Uh, I guess we'll just give him Heatran here. To kill. Because it's only one prizer. But he has a boss anyway. And he's going to boss out the fish because he doesn't want us attacking his Pokemon and doing extra to our bench. He's got super rod himself. Ooh, that's a that's a nice super rod. So he can just kill us here, um, even with our even with our charm. It still doesn't save us. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Charizard's definitely more popular. Definitely, usually a little bit better in most circumstances. But we will we will show him the power of Heatran. Uh, because we will attach there, we will switch into Heatran, and we will, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this, because um, I 
don't need what I need is a boss that was really good um, and then we'll boom we'll hit him for two 280 off of 40 damage so so I wanted that boss obviously because if he places a, a two prizer down we can just boss out a comfy and and win the game here um, let's see he's gonna throw those back in the deck and he's probably just gonna have to attack me again with the Charizard. I don't really know what his game plan is. I don't know what else he can get up this fast with the little cards in his hand. But let's see. Okay, so he does have Chorus now, so he is gonna see five more cards here. All right. Jet energy. All right, there we go. He is he is playing some new staples like the super rod and the jet. You like to see it? Ah, but he just ran out of stuff. Uh, I guess he just couldn't get anything, and that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, but yeah, this was uh, Chi Yu. He's uh, he's really good. Uh, unfortunately, he's just like a support card. You know, he he, he doesn't hit very hard. But he does set up very well. And you can mulligan their deck too a little bit. I know I didn't really do it any in this, but that's what that uh, first attack can do. It can help mulligan some cards. It's kind of a kind of a funny a funny thing. Maybe you throw it into uh like a Wug Trio deck or something like that. It's uh, kind of interesting. I know Wug Trio's all uh, all water though, so it's kinda kinda a bit different. But uh, maybe maybe a little food for thought, you know. But uh, yeah, that'll be the that'll be the fire chi yu toolbox deck. Um, appreciate you guys watching and uh, roll the extra battle here.
Victory Screech! 